and welcome to St. George's Episcopal Church online noonday prayer service. I'm the Reverend Stephanie Fox, and I am delighted that you're joining us today. Please know that at St. George's, all are welcome. I invite you to follow along on page 103 of your Book of Common Prayer, and if you don't have one, you can click on the link that is provided in the description. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. You can find Psalm 133 on page 787 of your prayer book. You can speak with me or follow along silently. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard. Upon the beard of Aaron and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion. But there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of James, chapter 1, verses 1 through 15. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion. Greetings. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Let the believer who is lowly boast in being raised up, and the rich in being brought low, because the rich will disappear like the flower in a field. For the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the field. Its flower falls and its beauty perishes. It is the same with the rich. In the midst of a busy life, they will wither away. Blessed is anyone who endures temptation. Such a one has stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. No one, when tempted, should say, I'm being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself tempts no one. But one is tempted by one's own desire, being lured and enticed by it. Then that desire has conceived. When that desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And that sin, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. At this time, I invite you to offer any prayers or intercessions or thanksgivings. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.